Hey everyone, this is Sai here. Today we'll be going over some of the interesting formulas and zip searches that I've faced uh, with a lot of clients, especially dealing with financial clients who would like to see metrics from month to date versus prior year month to date uh, compared to quarter to date, prior year quarter to date, and so on and so forth. So this is a test save search I've created. And if you could see on the screen here, uh, I have the current sales for the current month, the account, account number, and just put in like for each rep in this example. But this can be done for a customer, um, this can be done for a vendor, and so on and so forth. So the idea behind this is to, to have the ability in a safe search to be able to get this data without having to export it to like Excel or like say, use a reporting tool like Power BI. So to get started, I've included all of the formulas in the description of the video. So you can definitely take a look at it there and use that and tweak it as needed in your own formulas um, on your own NetSuite environment. So let's get started. So this is a safe search that I've created. It's a transaction search to get started. And uh, just so you guys know, this is like from a test environment. So I'm just going to show you how I've put in the different fields that I need and I've grouped them. So the, the reason why I've grouped them is all of these transactions need to be aggregated at a level, right? So if it's at the current month level versus the prior month, so that's how I did it. And all of these formulas are basically using uh, the native fields like transaction date, and you're just putting in a, a, a filter condition saying if it's between uh, today and the start of the month, okay, get the current month's information for me. So this is the data here. Similar to that for prior month, we're just doing the same thing as the above, but we're just doing it, we're going back by minus one, which is the previous month. And again, we're going back by the same period for the last month. So this is how the formula works. So you can do something similar for a quarter. So quarter and like today's date. So it's going to be quarter to date. So similar to previous quarter to date. So this is how you would do it. Minus one, minus three would be for previous uh, quarter, like from a date perspective, since you're going back in time for three months, right? So this is how it would work. Same thing with the year. You would in, like do it for the current year and then make it um, the last date, right? So this would be one way of doing this. And again, this, the second would be last from prior year. You would do it minus one, so on and so forth, like current year to date, last year to date. So I've included the formulas for all of these in the um, the video description, feel free to check them out. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of how to do this and how it is possible. Also, be sure to summarize this since all, all of these are being aggregated at like a, a date range level, right? So hope this is helpful and do subscribe to our Data Ants channel for more NetSuite tips and tricks. Thank you.